Well, it's a pleasure to have this man right here. Long time. It's the first time I actually get to sit down with this guy right here. Heard his name left and right. Radio shows, you know, all the way live. CQT radio, 93.3 radio, doing all that. But now I'm finally here with my man. Man, brand new project. You know, I put that SB um, to a hundredth pick on purpose. You yeah, feel me? Man. So you <laughs> dig that one up. I dug, I dug up the one from our interview like seven years yeah. ago. And you like, dug oh, up. you clapped back. Oh, it's yeah. like that. <laughs> and you dug up that one. That's, that was just. I'm every battle on me, man. Hey, what yeah. you man. For those who don't know, I'm going to let him introduce himself, man. Talk to the people. Oh, what up, man? This is, this is Pro V. Thank you very much for having me. DMS, BZ. Big respect. That's such a humble introduction, man. Pro V. Thank you. I'm used yeah. to it, man. Hey, happy to be here. Happy like... to be here. That's it. You're happy to be and, here. And thank you to the assistant as well for letting us all in. Yeah, that's it, man. Hey, man, let me say something. Like I said, you're being really humble right now because um, the work you've been putting on, trust me. For me, it didn't go unnoticed, but I feel like uh, for a lot of people, maybe they don't necessarily know what it is. So if you can give them like a brief summary, like, uh, you know what I mean? Your okay. accomplishment and who we talking about right now, right? Um, sorry. Oh, oh, in something in particular or just? Well, in terms of all the projects you've been, bro, because, man, you've been there since. Oh. <laughs> you've worked with all them artists, like, you know what I mean, from the days until now. And come on. Yeah, man, I guess. Um, well, most recently is, is this album that, that hasn't dropped yet, but, you know, a lot of things have come out from it, which is North Face Tech Feast Seventh Summit. Yeah. And... Um, so so far i've been dropped dropped eight videos so far from the album and um got another one dropping in a couple of weeks and uh, i just want to give a shout out to everybody who's on that so far you know um started with jay red the doctor um brain men jimmy jimmy d borden right here on my left uh morris regal over there justice mcfly uh, RVLR mags scandal you know um I don't believe I'm forgetting anybody right now that was that was eight right yeah, that was eight. and so um in no particular order so big up to them and shout out to them for for putting out some great tracks with me so far and and, and putting out some great videos at the same time let me know on all the videos he's he's, so he's been killing it you know so I yeah so so how do you make your selection like how did you actually like like you know what i'm gonna check these eight guys these are the ones i'm wrong um it, it it's just it's it's a lot of people that are in my circle mm -hmm. you know like luckily that you know some some of my my friends are talented people at the same time and then other people is people that i admire that 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 i that i reached out to that i really wanted to collaborate with just from obviously from their past work and the amount of talent that they had you know so there's people on the project that you never collaborated with in the past yeah for sure i know for sure um right. like i've done cuts for borden before but i never gave yeah. Borden a beat that you know what i mean um same with jared jared the doctor mm -hmm. um already collaborated with morris rain men like i, I dj for them but you know, we haven't collaborated, hadn't cr collaborated musically. So that was our first track together, you mm -hmm. know? And we actually did a couple tracks for the album. So we'll get that one a little bit, the second one a little bit later. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, Mags, like I, I did cuts for Mags on, on the 80 Rock, uh, Marvel R Mags album. Right. And, um, but we hadn't, you know, collaborated like that. So that was the first time, you know? So, and so this is my, my attempt to kind of like, let's, let's bring all the soldiers together and then let's bring, let's, let's try to assemble a lot of people. And there's still a lot of people that I haven't mentioned yet that are part of the album as well, but so, so, so you, far. So just say that project is like, um, how can I say, is it more like a Rough Riders volume one, two, three, whatever it is, or more like a DJ Khaled that's bringing everything together? Well. I'm pro I'm producing everything, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's that, that's, that's yeah, why yeah, it's tough right, to compare right. to. <laughs> you're totally right. I was more thinking um, about the fact that you you united artists together. Yeah, the same project, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, I guess it's kind of like a Pete Rock soul survivor without you know Pete Rock raps on his tracks, but I'm not rapping, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm just, but yeah, man, I'm trying to assemble everybody, bring everybody together, and uh, have a shine together, you know. So so apart from um, J Rad. 
and I could say um, Regal, mm -hmm. I've noticed that she didn't really go deep into the new generation of artists in Montreal. Is there any reason why um, that she didn't really collaborate and maybe, or is it the personal choice or how does that work? Maybe it's due to like what I said before, of just kind of like reaching out to the people I know first okay. and the people I admire. So I guess I'm going towards the people who are older than me because that comes from a younger age when I, you know, to admire people. But there's also people that are young as well who mm -hmm. like, like younger is like, the, that's not like, they're not even the youngest that are on the album, mm -hmm. you know, that, that track hasn't dropped yet. I don't think. Okay. But, no, but I mean, from what I heard. But, but yeah, it's not, it's not really like, a, it's not a, I think it's just a result of, of just, you know, making music with people in the circle and, and, but nothing against, uh, any generational, you know, because the youngest person on the album is a very, very young person who is very talented, you know what I mean? And, and that was reaching out because I admired that person and, and what they do. So, 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 so from what I understand, and basically you, it's like, look, I go with what I like. It is what it is. It's talent. not my shit. And it's, it's it. it's talent not the first. Yeah. It's not what they say. But I mean, don't get it twisted. A lot of mainstream artists who are talented, it doesn't mean because they're mainstream that they're not talented, so you can't reach out to them necessarily. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to reach out to the new wave of talent. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's, I don't know if that's the vision that you're trying to do. Because I'm thinking, I'm just, I'm just like trying to understand, because a lot of times when I'm interviewing uh, producers, especially from back in the day, their thing is this, they're always talking about how can they connect with the new generation and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And they feel me. For you, when I'm talking to you right now, you're really in for I don't give a fuck. I'm just focusing on who I f with. This is what it is. This is my people, yeah, like, and I, I got my lane, and this is where I'm trying to go. Yeah, you know? and 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 by 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 staying in your lane and making the music that you're best at making, and you'll, you'll you'll attract what needs to be attracted, kind of thing. You know, like, nothing gets forced in that sense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, but I know there's different pockets of hip hop, and I'm sure. It's, some of that will get opened over the next little while. Because you know? I'm seeing like a young Mike Shab on your thing. You feel me, Mike Shab? I feel like the way he raps and stuff and your style beats. Definitely, man. Uh, and I, I can see him on your shit. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, definitely, definitely. You and the new generation, y'all could do a lot of work together and it could sound like bless. You feel yeah, me? man. Definitely. 100%. 100%. Now, my man, Halftime Chronicles. You know what I mean? I've seen you drop in the okay, yeah, yeah. channels online. I like that. Okay. For those who don't know, can you just give them a brief explanation of what you feel me? Yep, yep. So there was um a lot of track like there was there's a lot of tracks on the album and uh, and certain tracks that videos were made for and they had in my artistic vision they had to drop during the winter. Cause I'm not about to drop snow videos in the middle of the summer. It would make so no you sense. Gotta, and you, gotta, and you wouldn't feel it as much. You, you know, got all I mean? fresh photo shoot in the winter. I see you <laughs> <laughs> with the North face. I'm like, damn, I was going to put that pic on the summertime. I mean, get that. Exactly. So, <laughs> so certain things had to drop. I forget what, what was the question again? The, the, the Chronicles. Yeah. So certain things had to drop and then I'm still, you know, finishing up the album and other things. So in the meantime, while I was finishing up other things and planning out other singles, Mm -hmm. It was like, why don't I just take a moment to talk about all the music that just dropped? Because a lot of things just happened and I should take a moment to reflect on it and share that with the people. So mm -hmm. that was the halftime chronicles. It's like we're, we're at halftime of the, of the album right now. You've, you've seen videos like for pretty much half of the album. So let's talk about it for a bit. I want to give a shout out to I want to talk about these actual tracks. Like a lot of cool little things happened to make these tracks what they were. And I wanted to give the artists a shout out at the same time. We'll talk about them, talk about how those tracks came together because I enjoy that as a fan when I'm I'm digging for interviews from way back whenever I'm just I just want to know more about the music mm. that I appreciate so if somebody appreciates my music and they go and listen to these interviews and like then they they will go listen to these interviews and they will kind of take something from it you know what I mean okay. um yeah so that was that was kind of the, the vision of that you know so it's basically half of the album that you drop so pretty is that much. is that the reason why I can't find it on Spotify and none of the platforms. Yeah, that's going to be coming out in a couple months. Because I was surprised. I'm it's like, going to be a... How come it's not on Spotify? Why I don't have these records? How come people can stream it? I'm a this little is bit, important. I'm a, I'm a little bit old school in that. You Nah, this is not an excuse. You got to no, go no, no. get it. No, no, no. This point, my G, you know what it is. If you're old yeah. school, you should know already. And that's why I had to, you know, I had to make the adjustment. But 
I will. I can say when this. When is it? When's the release date? June 23rd, there will be a single out with Narcy. Okay. So that will be on all platforms. A little bit after that, there'll be a next single. And a little bit after that, the album's going to drop and the whole thing's going to be available. But to me, to you, Real Talk, those are bangers, bro. Appreciate that. And it's hard for the consumer to go on YouTube and whatever you type it. You're, to you're 100% to. right. And that's... People go on Spotify. If I type yeah. Borden, I want to listen to the Borden track that you did with him. I don't want to go to YouTube. And then, and then I get exactly. a call and then the music stops because I have to do something on another... On yeah. another application, like, you know what it All is. Like, no, no, it's fact. Like, and that's my fault, and I'm taking full accountability. And I it. think this will be the last time that that happens because now I'm, you know, crossing. But it's, over not, it's, not, it's not too late. You can still drop it on. You know? Yeah, no, no, it's it's all part of the album. Okay, you know okay, what I mean? Okay. But that's why, you know, that's why all those videos had to come out in the winter. I was like, mm -hmm. the whole thing's not ready, but I can't be. You know, so let me just drop this for now. Who's that? Kind of tease things and then... And this is one thing that I actually give you a lot of props for is the fact that you came back to back with the plays. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of times some artists just drop a video and then we don't see them for like two, three months. Then they come back with some other shit yeah. and two, three... You keep the back, the back, the back. And um, that was the beauty of it. You feel me? Shout out to everybody and shout out to Let Me Know for, for you know bugging it out in the, in the winter with me and making those videos, you know? We, we, we were working hard in, in that time. And Canadian winter film. Yeah, was. man. So it was, it was it was a lot of work to get them done, but everybody was, everybody collaborated so well. It was it was easy, you know? Mm -hmm. It takes time, but, it, it, you know, it was easy, yeah. Now, are you the type of uh, DJ maybe that do clubs and stuff like that? Or is there some, is there an avenue that you're trying to reach? Or... Yeah, like I have a, I do a, I do a few restaurants slash bars slash, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so I have a monthly at, uh, it's a place called Sans Soleil in uh, Chinatown, it's a Japanese restaurant in Chinatown. Thank you. They have a, they designed their basement for only vinyl. So I have every DJ that goes to play there, they only play yeah. vinyl and it's a real, like they set up a sound system very proper for that, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the experience that they wanted to give the, the clientele there. So I've been DJing there for like a year and a half. Um, and, and yeah, go ahead. What do you have, like in terms of the music that you're playing, is there like probably no restriction or can you just play a whole lot of much? Hey, the, the, apparently there's nobody really there like that does what I do, mm -hmm. but they all really like what I do and people who are, go there like what I do. And I go from hip hop to R&B to funk soul. So mm -hmm. I, you know, all in the samples and all the old stuff and bring it back to now. Yeah, so. I'm asking because a lot of artists are telling me like, yo, Fizzy. The states they got all those DJs spinning music and here much y'all we don't know who's playing what so yeah, that's why every time I get somebody like a DJ or producer if I know for a fact you're playing at this certain place I want to be able to you know what I mean link up the artists be like send them your music maybe you can play your stuff over there because that's what it is you guys are playing one of the most important world for these artists because you play music like at places mm -hmm. and restaurants and in, you know I mean all those maybe clubs or wherever you get booked at. And imagine you play my song everywhere you go. Oh, I love playing Montreal hip hop when I like, when I you know like when I'm you DJing and I can go and play some Montreal hip hop. I mean, play either that's that's wonderful because that's it. But when people know, you know that I'm playing vinyl and they know it's Montreal hip hop, they truly appreciate it. You know, well, you that's like have, an extra. You guys have to be more accessible. Thing. That's what I mean, like to the artists too. That's actually want to get that exposure because I feel like there's a gap between. The DJs and the artists in Montreal. Like, I don't even think. Hundred percent. I feel like there's. <laughs> and I feel it. I feel it as a. I feel it as a DJ, mm -hmm. and I feel it as an artist. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, like I hundred <laughs> on both ends. I, I feel that. Back in our day, you, know you I mean? drop a single, you gotta send a DJ pack. Nowadays, it's like a DJ pack. What's a DJ pack? Like you cool to who? Like artists don't even care about sending the song and remixes maybe a vocal you know such and such just the pack for the art for the dj to play with it mm. and uh, you know what i mean do something like spin your record and make it go big but like artists nowadays i feel like i don't know they don't care or they don't know the process or there's something missing and i feel like it's in both parts like you guys too as djs y'all should reach out more to the artists play more of the artist's music showcase mm -hmm. showcase them more on your on your pages like do a mix and then just showcase all the guys you have on your mm -hmm. tape but they're singles you know what I mean not necessarily like alone. even it's like that. my opportunity to do that is more at the radio you know when I'm doing CKUT no 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 but and, I'm just saying nowadays we win no, 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 but, but I'm, but I'm, I'm adding on to them like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure, even sure. disagreeing with you I'm just adding on I'm like like with with the radio it's like I wish people would know that 
like that was kind of like an open lane as well. Like, like, like communicate with me over that too. But like, mm -hmm. it's, it's like, there's, there's, there's something. It's like me, bro. I'm, I'm there's here. like that community. There's like that middle. I don't know if, 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 if we need more middle people who like to play that role of like, or some sort of structure, like to be put in place mm -hmm. because there's gotta be that connection. Cause if, 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 if you're saying it, then it's something that I'm feeling and for sure everybody feels. It's okay, like, okay. Where's the where's the bank? So everybody can go to the Montreal Sound Bank, and you know that this is what's going on in well, I just, in in January or I, in February. I just, I just feel like forever, it, it's not know? even like that nowhere, bro. Like you don't go to a certain place to get your news from. You're gonna get your news from different sources and stuff like mm -hmm. that. This is for everything in life, but for music especially, I'm just saying for DJs and you guys really need to have like how can I say, like a network or something for artists for them to reach out? Because you, like I said, you guys play music, man. Mm -hmm. You guys are still in the clubs. These little kids are going to the clubs and listening to some music from Montreal DJs. They are getting crazy on some week also, whatever. Bro, play us, play some of this shit. Play some, some Montreal shit. But again, the problem is, and I'm not trying to drag the thing too long, but I'm just saying, I hear you. I just want to build. No, your point is that like, there's yeah. got to be a, a bridge built. Most definitely. And that's, I hear you, 100%, 100%. So, yeah, man. Um, I want to say one thing to most definitely for sure, rest in peace, Bad News Brown. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The way that era, Bad News Brown brought the new money era. You know what I mean? I remember that new money. I was like, damn. Because I wasn't part of new money. I was from the West, but I wasn't part of new money, man. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tripping. It was just like, I, I know these niggas, man. They didn't hit me up, though. They didn't call me for the show. You know what I mean? But I love the movement, though. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. If you think about new money, real talk, if you give me your top three MCs of new money, where will be your lineup? I forget the full lineup, man. You remember, man. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, don't, I know Max is in there. So I know I know Max is definitely, you know. Was was Bookie in there too? Bookie, Max. So that's top Frost. two. I think Muggs was in there. Uh, so I ain't gonna give you the name. Just was to give your top three. Yeah, I know top two. Like, that's. That's that's for sure. You say Max N? and Blicky and Blicky. Yeah, yeah, I blast. So would you say those are your top two in Montreal, point blank, when it comes to an English scene, like, you know what I mean, coming up and all that? What everything? Like, what's up with you? You tell me. No, I, I, no you asked me. You no, answer your question. I'm asking you. you <laughs> what everything? I don't know what's everything for you. No, what? So are you asking for for in that time? In that time, yeah, coming up. You know what I mean? That era. Who yeah. were the hottest in Montreal? Like, like in that time, hundred percent. That was that was it, and 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 Muggs was with Muggs was playing, getting his his videos played on on BET BC. and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that wasn't exactly my style of, you know, hip hop because I know it was different. Stuff, but like, I would appreciate everything that they were doing. Man, you know what I mean? Like, both, but Mags and Eyeglass top two, and Muggs Muggs was killing it. You know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. what Millie Mills was in there too. Millie Mills. You know what I mean? So he was killing it too. Mills. Um, What's that? Yeah, man. So that's that's. I think that's more. Another guy unless I'm like, forgetting somebody. Right someone now, I like you know? a lot too was a Seas Rock. Yeah, for sure. Just with him the other, other day. Oh yeah. 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 Shout out for me, man. I did so <laughs> weird, man. Money runs it all, man. Big shout out to my man Seas, man. That was dope. Now check this out, my man. Choose ones, right? Simple as that. You mixing songs or creating original tracks? Original tracks. It starts with the re for me it started with making remixes but then it's like once you start making original tracks and it's like mm -hmm. when give this guy when I you know Gabe Borden that beat and came through and recorded that when came when Morris came through and recorded his shit when when Jay like I gave Jay Red the beat two days later he sent me the track back because he already went to it's like that's a beautiful thing you can't replicate that with doing taking a acapella and doing a remix. I love about. I love DJing and making a and 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 like doing a remix like acapella on one record and Man. a beat on the other one. But like when it comes to production, like I want to make something original. That's for sure. Okay, I like that. Yeah. J Red stacks being that goal we need. Big stacks, big stacks. I was like, I was like, yeah, that was my shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep going, my man. Let's keep going, man. Studio headphones. Or modernist? Modernist. Yeah? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Surprise. 
Live. Because me as an artist, I rather, I don't know, I'm a headphone guy more than I want to, if I'm making a beat and I want to stand up and bob, I don't want, I, wanna, I don't want a wire attached to me. But when that. you're creating, I mean, when you create your yeah, beat, yeah, it's yeah, money. Yeah, 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 definitely. Is that what we're talking about? Or talking about creating? Well, I mean, in general, you know, creating, yeah, even when you yeah, listen yeah. to music. I only, I, only, I only use headphones when I DJ, pretty, pretty much, like, or for recording, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So would you rather perform with a band or just yourself? I'm the need to. I only did the band thing one one time. I went to to Toronto with Narcy and we performed at this um, museum, the Aga Khan Museum. I'm happy to remember that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so and and there was a grand piano and a whole bunch of different. And that was a different experience. I was the guy playing certain parts of the beat, and you know, so that was a that's a different experience. But if I'm gonna go on the road and go touring, yeah. I think I'd want to just DJ and 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 experience that because I haven't just got you know got around and DJed and toured like that and played. And, like if if we were all to go on the road, I think I'd rather like DJ on yeah, tracks yeah. than like have to arrange like bass play of this yeah, uh, man, drum like that. You know what I mean? But I can say it's a different experience, my yeah. Like it's because now you're part of. Uh... Yeah. The whole team. Like when I explained the Narcy thing, that was a, I was I was joining in on a piece of music you know mm -hmm. what i mean it wasn't like but now you're when you ask me about my music i'm like no that's kind of like i want to do because no, when it comes to samples certain things cannot be replicated by a band you know mm -hmm. the band already did it on the record and then i changed the the speed of things and i played it a certain way it's like so now out of all the songs you put out i know you did rain man magnum justice board and scandal i think i forgot maybe two or three but um which one did you have the most fun with in terms of the video shoot the video shoot yeah um definitely the the rvlr mags track because it started as <coughs> oh we're gonna go from this spot to this spot and this spot we had you know we had like two three spots planned out and then we decided to hit up some some people who were on the albums like yo do you guys want to roll to this one spot so we all went to this one spot and then everybody wanted to we didn't expect everybody to roll with us uh you know but it was it got kind of cold and everything so we just went back and kind of had a little jam and just had a had a great night so that's what you see in 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 the temple video that's just us having a great time and just so i i have to choose that one because every you know most people were were there it was <clears throat> it was a great night you know but all all, all the shoes were good there was none of them were like a bad time you know like like, in terms of in studio now Mm -hmm. Which session was the you met and, and that was the one. Like you fuck with that session, not you know what I mean? It's all good, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Cause I don't want to just you know miss misquote myself. Yeah. You know, like, you know what I mean? Just the energy and shit. Cause working. So with I wasn't I wasn't there when when Jira did his thing because he did it at his studio. I showed up at his studio session after he finished the track. Right. Um. It's like. Everybody's so professional. Yeah. And now that I think about it, that every studio session was just simple. It's like one or two takes. Easy. Where are you recording, by the way? Pardon? You got your own place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody was like one or two takes. Mm. Like Borden was two takes. I think we kept the first. Hey, the vets, my people, what do Morris was, was it even two? I think it, you know, I think it was like the third one. It was the third one. It was yeah, yeah. yeah it was the third. But but there was even here in the chart. Yeah, and 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 but because he already had two good takes, but he's like, let me just do another one. And then at the end, he was like, that was the one. That was the one. And I just kept kept him saying that. Cause, <laughs> but um, I think what was what was dope is is like, the the the, the fact that to, to do a track with Rainman and to be a fan of theirs for like. 20 plus years was 25 years it's like that that was crazy you know because i've been in musical settings with everybody else either a dj for you mm -hmm. or we did a track together or i did cuts on your album but that was that was new that was special you know um scandal recorded it on her on her end with, with, with somebody with one of her homies mm -hmm. and but you know um yuri came through utah came through and and sorry man yeah, man, you know, um, what was dope about Utra was that, you know, he, he's not in town. So when he came through in the town, 
he recorded his part of the track because uh, Nofraj already did his part, mm -hmm. and um, and then we were, we did the video the same night. You know what I mean? So it was just like record the track, let's do the video, back boom. Back. But it was all organized, but yeah. it was just like so that was a good vibe to get to have all that accomplishment in one with day. yeah in that day. I, I know what you mean. Trust and me. even Nofraj shows up. He's and he, he's here in the track for the first because he already knew what the what the bars were, but. Cause they, they did a back and forth right so they had to know what what each person was doing but like that was his first time here in the track and mm -hmm. so we're out shooting the video he's like oh man i'm really feeling the track like this is you know it, so to have that on that that was like a cool day you know what i mean um the, like we were like you were, you were talking to borden before off air and borden had recorded a full album at, and he did that at my crib but like right before he recorded that you, you record the track for so let me tell you something i'm gonna cut your rack here man check this out yeah so i see your vision i'm not all right but i want to promote this shit like real talk mm. i know you do your thing send me that project when it's done let me do my thing you feel me because me my point at the end of the day uh, you know man I, I like to put on for the people that are really doing it like mm -hmm. you know what i mean yes of course i i promote artists in the city that's my job but when I put on for artists, I do my events, I showcase, and, and, and the artists that I always put, you know what I mean? Because I know I recognize talent before. Mm -hmm. And people like these guys that you have here, they're all talented, but I don't want it to be just like, I um, cannot sit. You know, uh, just a hobby or just dropping. I'm not saying, I'm not disrespecting nobody, I'm just saying, like, just a hobby or just dropping records. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to actually be in the forefront. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, if like being on social media and all that shit is not your, is not your thing, this is where DMS comes in play. You feel mm -hmm. me? Because I know you guys got action skills because I like what every single one of you guys is doing. Mm -hmm. So, keep making the good music. Send me them projects. Let's make them some shit so we can put this shit on the forefront, bro. Because mm -hmm. Montreal, bro, we need to have a proper representation of people that can actually rap for real and spit them bars. It's all good, that little singing thing, but where the bar's at, you know what I mean? Shout out to Magnum, but bro, you always gonna say Magnum? Come on, man. I know there's other spitters in the city, you know what I mean? Magnum is killing it since all these days. It's always Magnum, Magnum killing it, but I know there's other motherfuckers mm -hmm. we can see. We can say Magnum and, yeah. and bro, they gotta be out there, you feel me? Especially yeah. the new cats. So, shout out to that project. This is why I brought you here, by the way, because I love the project, the videos, the songs. I was like, yo, I need to make sure I put this platform for this guy and we can actually talk about it and make sure Montreal knows about it so we could push it. The bro, it makes no sense that this is like, uh, like I say, people are sleeping on it in a way, you feel me? Mm -hmm. That that makes no sense to me. Yeah, so, appreciate that. No, appreciate most that. definitely. You yeah. know what I mean? And that goes for everybody here. Like all the videos and songs they drop in, like mine, they gotta be more out there. And even them as artists too, like, yo, push your shit guys, you know what I mean? Be on the neck, drop sure. that shit, board, and I know you know what it is, but you know what I mean? Be on the neck. Come on, bro, I know you dropped that shit, Morris. You know I've been putting, pushing your shit, posting your videos from, from Tom too, bro. <laughs> so trust me, guys, like, you, you gotta be more on the neck, like, real talk, right, and this yeah. is how it's gonna work, man. You gotta put yourself out there, drop a freestyle, take the my ear bro, do a little story, yo, spit those bars, man, tag me, I'll repost that shit, gladly repost that shit. You know what I mean? So. That's all I'm saying. If it's not that, then it's just gonna be a hobby. We're just laughing for fun. We'll mm -hmm. talk. Let's just keep it real. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And this is not the point. That's the all in that, man. Honest, man. man. Definitely. I just wanted to say that. Respect like, for that. Just, that's just more like energy. Me yeah, giving yeah, you that vibe, that definitely. energy, because I know you guys got it, man. Like you wouldn't just... say that without the talent. So no, most deaf. Like yeah. I would have just been like asking you, what's your inspiration, type of questions, and just move on. You know what I mean? But yeah. I just yeah. want to make sure I get my message across, because I know you're working on something with these guys. And I want to hear. And they're always working too, man. That's, that's, that's sure. what's motivating, you know. That's yeah. that's that's what that's what makes you reach out to those people as well. You know? Definitely. So. so, if you can't give me, maybe you can't give me a date, but when do you think can we expect like the actual project, like completed everything, like the 2023 thing? Well, I, I mentioned before, like uh, June 23rd, uh, dropping the single with Christy. Yeah. And then end of. Should be about end of July. There's gonna be a next single, and then end of August will be the album. You can't ask for something. Yeah, and you gotta get a whole bunch of videos in between. Yeah, title. 
Yeah, North Face and Tech Fleece, the Seventh Summit. Okay. As you see in the videos, there's always like a little title, a title page that comes up with oh, like yeah. the yeah. So you'll always see the the name of the album and then the name of the track. So. And do you do any collaborations like within the artists? Like, or is it just like Pro V and Gordon? Pro V um, and Scandal, Pro V and Rain Man. Yeah, man, like there's going to be a, a Rain Man and Lil Pesci track. Okay. Lil yeah. Pesci's back. Okay. Yeah, man, he's got his own track and and the track with Rain Man. That, one, that one's dope. They're both dope. They're both dope. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Before I let you go, my man, two things. Number one, let him know how can we follow you. Give him all the social media info and all that. P R O P R O underscore V M T L P R O underscore V underscore M T L Pro V SoundCloud.com slash pro dash V dash two. Uh Bandcamp. What is it? Pro dash V dot bandcamp dot com. Pro dash V dot bandcamp dot com. And all the videos are on my YouTube right now. Um there's eight videos. Like I said. Uh, J Red the Doctor, Jimmy D, Rain Man, uh, Morris Regal, Justice McFly, RVLR Mags, Borden, Scandal. Feel like I'm not forgetting anybody. You don't smoke. Okay. Okay. Without it. What's that? You smoke? Yeah. It's good than I. I'll be like, yo. And all, everybody else. I thought you could say you could smell it or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I don't know who. You feel me? <laughs> That's most definitely. And the last thing, man, I wanted you to just let Montreal know one thing. What do you want Montreal to know about Pro V if they don't know already, man? Let them know. Hip hop, man. All the way live radio, CKUT 90.3 FM. Off the hook radio, CKUT 90.3 FM. Three to five on Wednesdays, midnight to two on Wednesdays. I produce, a DJ. Just stay in tune and, you know, stay tuned to Instagram and you see anything that I'm doing. You know? I always like to to show whatever musical, whatever I'm doing musically, I like to share that so that people can, you know, appreciate it, so. You know what it is, man, shit out, you heard it from the man Pro V, make sure you follow my man. Hey man, a lot of videos out, man, get the YouTube page, man, on your replay, because that's just me, man, there's bangers on bangers, man. The bars are back. And, and uh, is. follow Borden 100. Times 100. Borden 100, times 100. Follow J Red the Doctor. Follow Morris Regal. RVLR Mags, Justice McFly, 80 Rock, whole squad. Let me know. You, like I gotta take a moment to give Let Me Know a big shout out. Big shout out, big shout out to Let Me Know. He's been doing okay. videos for all different crews, and everybody's been doing all of J Red's videos, Bro, all of my know, videos. Let me know pulled up to a DMS events, the battle events I was doing, and stuff like that. You must know. know Let Me Know from years sure. now. Back in the day, that's what I'm saying. saying. Like, up, so big shout out to so, all, all those visions and, and a lot of the energy that gets brought to the music is due to those videos that we do. Mm -hmm. And so I have to give them that moment of, of you know, respect. Sounds on bomb. Get in tune with it, man. Let's play some music, man. Let's play that board and that.